President Donald Trump landed in Israel this afternoon after a history-making flight from Saudi Arabia directly to Tel Aviv which has been prohibited under years of failed democracy between the two nations. Flights coming in must be detoured through other locations, as well as all those leaving Israel, headed for Saudi Arabia. Trump defied those barriers on Air Force One today and landed to a red carpet greeting where Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sarah awaited their arrival. Melania Trump stepped off the aircraft looking radiant in a white suit dress which exudes style and class. This is a far cry from the first lady we've seen for eight years and it's refreshing to have someone like her represent our country overseas. However, not everyone feels this way about our new first lady which was addressed in the incredible gift Sarah Netanyahu slipped Melania before they had even stepped off the red carpet on the tarmac. The two first ladies have already developed a friendly rapport with each other starting from the Netanyahu's visit with the Trumps in the White House. Sarah and Melania appeared to hit it off and looked comfortable in each other's presence far more than Michelle Obama ever did with Sarah. As friends typically do, they have each other's backs, and that was certainly the case with what Sarah leaned in and said to Melania. As her gift from one first lady to another, Sarah had a few words of encouragement for Melania who had been brutalized by the media and hateful liberals in the U.S. Newsweek reports. The wife of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was caught making diplomatic small talk with First Lady Melania Trump upon President Donald Trump's arrival in Israel on Monday, flagging something they have in common, the media's alleged hatred of both couples. Israel's Channel 2 broadcaster caught the remarks between the two women. You know in Israel all the people like us, the media hate us but the people love us, Sarah Netanyahu said to Melania Trump. Like you. Dot. President Trump replied, we have a lot in common, to which Sarah Netanyahu said, we'll talk about it over dinner. Dot. Both President Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu have been the focus of media witch hunts in their respective countries and as such can relate of this bias and unfounded scandals brought against them. Netanyahu is subject to a corruption investigation after media reports in December alleged that he received lavish gifts from two businessmen, according to Newsweek. President Trump has previously announced that his intentions with this Israel trip is to reaffirm the unbreakable bond between the U.S. and the state of Israel. He's in the perfect position to do just that considering the two couples are friends on a personal level. The Netanyahus were never this friendly with the Obamas likely due in part to Barack Obama being more concerned with assisting Israel's enemy in Palestine than helping America's Jewish ally. The Trumps are on the second leg of their Middle East tour having just left Saudi Arabia on a high note. The country, which has previously not been too friendly with the U.S. seems to want to come together more now than with Obama in office. Trump and his family were shown a great deal of respect that was never seen with their predecessors. Some feel that this in part to Trump not bending a knee for anybody and being steadfast in his own patriotism and beliefs. What Israel sees in Trump is similar to what Americans see and that's a capable man who is willing and ready to act on behalf of his people and allies. Israel's has been under a torrent of attack from their Palestinian neighbors while Obama turned a blind eye to it. Before leaving office, he outed insult to injury by gifting Palestinians millions of Americans' money and sticking it to one of our country's closest partners. The bond between America and Israel is back and it's beautiful to see the women of these powerful men having each other's backs too. They both understand media-driven scandal very well and it's a beautiful thing to see a partnership on a personal level that could result in mended relations globally. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.